Okay, hey everyone, Jason here. So I'm just mixing up some epoxy. I've got two pumps of the resin to two pumps of the hardener. Uh, again, I'm using mass system epoxy, which was supplied with the kit from Chesapeake Light Craft. Uh, a little tip here for when mixing your epoxy. Now I've mentioned before that you want to mix for about two or three minutes. Uh, another thing is try to use some type of stir stick that has a flat edge to it at the bottom, right? So at the end, it's flat. Um, this one's specific for mixing epoxy and the other side is a radius. So it's a tool for when I go to spread it. You'll see that a bit later on. Um, but having the flat edge to stir is really good because obviously our whatever we're using as a cup to mix the epoxy in, it's got a square edge at the bottom and so you want a square edge to be able to fit right into the corners and make sure that you can mix it all up. So in a minute I'm going to add some cellophane to this and get it to a nice thick mustard-like consistency and I'll put it in this, uh, this syringe pump here supplied by Chesapeake and I'll use this to go into all of the little gaps between the panels when I stitch them together. Uh, basically I'm just going to tack weld them together so that I can remove the copper wire. So before doing this, what I did was I made sure that my kayak was all lined up and nice and straight and there were no twists. So I did two things. The one thing was I put some pieces of wood, wood strips, the same thickness pieces of wood across the hull. Uh, basically I did, what I did was I divided it into three and you know, I, so I put one at the end of the first third and then one at the end of the second third and then I eyed it up. So you can imagine if, so if I had the two sticks, if I want them to be level and even distance between them, and even if you can, you know, eyeball it, you can get them to cross over on top of each other. And you want to be able to see that they're nice and straight across. All right, so if it's crooked like this on one of them, you know that you've got a twist. So the other thing I did was I just took a tape measure and I measured down from my platform, my work surface, up to the bottom of those pieces of wood and I measured it on each side from the front and the back okay and you know fortunate for me everything was perfect you know I'm gonna say that uh, a lot has to do with the the CNC cut panels again the CNC it's computer numerical control router and so it cuts the panels perfectly so if you do your best while you're putting the kayak together it should line up really good okay so let me just get this stirred up and we'll start filling some of those gaps. So the tack weld process is super easy. Basically we've mixed up our epoxy, we've added some cellophane, and then we've put that thickened epoxy into one of the syringe pumps. So it actually takes very little epoxy at this stage to hold things together. All we need to do is just add a very narrow bead into any gaps. We want to work tidy, but epoxy is going to be a little bit messy to work with so you know just do your best and keep it as clean as you can and you know we'll take care of it from there. We want to try to avoid burying the wire stitches while we tack weld. We don't have to worry about it too much either. The epoxy won't stick to the copper wire and it'll be super easy to get the wires out unless they're completely buried. Okay so I'm just finishing off the tack welding here and now there's Kind of an interesting fact about canoe and kayak building. Everybody always wants to know how long does it take to build a canoe, how long does it take to build a kayak, and there's numbers out there, you know, 80 hours, 100 hours. The thing is, there's a lot of time waiting for glue to dry, so this is one of those times. I'm going to tack weld this together and then I can't do anything until this epoxy dries and sets. Okay, so I'm going to come back tomorrow and then I'll remove all the copper wire and this epoxy will hold everything in place. Now, before I leave for the day, I'm gonna do one last thing. I'm just gonna go through and look for any high bumps in this tack welding and I'll just run my finger over it. I don't wanna make a mess and I'm not gonna go over the entire boat, but mainly around the cockpit area and anywhere else that it's especially messy, I'm just gonna tidy it up a little bit. Okay, so the epoxy tack welds have cured overnight and they're good and solid now, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the copper wire. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use a pair of small wire cutters and then also a pair of pliers to just pull the wire through from the outside.
All right, so we've removed all the copper stitching from the hull, so the next step is to do the fiberglass and epoxy. Now, that's going to be a bit of a big step, so we're going to look at that in the next video.